Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly zodiac reading, your zodiac tarot reading. Um, this reading is for January the 15th to the 21st, 2024. Um, before I get into your cards for the week, I just want to kind of share with you the messages and energy and information that is immediately coming to me for you guys. And what I'm really being told is you're manifesting a new home. You're manifesting a new home. Um, I want to say house house or home because some of you might not be a house but f for a lot of you this is a new house and you're you're kind of it's happening energetically right now you're kind of putting gathering all the ingredients into a recipe right now for your new home and this this kind of process I feel it might be shorter for some of you, it might be a bit longer, but what I'm being told, and when I tune into it, I'm being told it's a three year process. So within the next three years. Um, but as I say, for some of you, it could happen much sooner. Some, it could be a little bit later, but I'm kind of being told in three years, you're gonna be in your new home and it's gonna be like your dream that you're conspiring right now. It's the dream that you are presently cultivating in three, three years, a lot of things can happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the same thing that you want in three years' time. But right now is when this has been initiated and when it's kind of being put being put into the recipe book, ready to be mixed up, and and then it's going to be baked, and then it's going to be you know it's going to be there for you to enjoy. Um, so this is what is like immediately coming here for me it's news about a home maybe this is something that you really need to know right now um but yeah it's like literally you could find yourself really thinking about where you want to live what you want your home to be like what what you want your house to be like how you want to live certain things you know like all different things um and and it's because it's going to be created for you you're creating it um other than that, there's somebody that thinks about you a lot that really wants to be with you, okay? They think about you a lot and this is somebody that you already know and it's somebody that, and they might not even be sharing this with you, but it's somebody that kind of pines for you a bit. They want to reach out, whether they do or not, I don't know, it's independent for them, but they think about you a lot, but they've gone, you've shifted into a different role with this person. Whereas before, they may have felt like confident with you and felt like they're on par with you or you're like equals or like some of them, maybe even they think that they are more of the catch than you. Something has shifted where they are lacking confidence right now and they think that you are more of a catch than them and that either they're not worthy of you or that you... Um, are not so interested in them or you don't find them as attractive or you're not putting them on a pedestal maybe as you once were. Um, there's this, this kind of energy shift that's happened um, in regards to this connection. Um, so, hi guys, apologies for the interruption. Um, my whole tribe come home, so I had to uh, stop what I was doing there. Um, and do family things. So I've returned back now and I'm gonna continue your reading where I left off because the energy is still super strong. Um, so yeah, apologies for that. I got, I got it interrupted, but yeah. Um, I just, before I continue in regards to this um, person who has been thinking about you that you a person you already know that's been thinking about you and they've had a shift in energy and you know they're feeling less confident now i want to just quickly touch a little bit more on the house um the dream house situation because during these three years there's going to be other things obviously that occur um and there may be um kind of temporary houses or there'll be you know you'll stay in a present property maybe things need to be done in that property but for those of you that um are planning or are moving before you know like three years um 
I feel like there's going to be either temporary properties, um, maybe like rentals or um, there, even if you buy a house, I feel like there may be something occurs and then you move. Um, for some of you and for a lot of you, I feel right. And I feel this really strongly. You're being called home. Okay. You're being called um back to ground and root yourself and it's not that you're going to stay back where you would call home where you would class as home you know maybe it's your childhood home maybe it's a family home maybe it's somewhere where you grew up um maybe it's like some sort of special place for you you're going to get called back there for a bit um you're going to have to go back and ground and root and reconnect there and um and also maybe do things or support people with things there as well. Do a little bit of um, like supportive kind of earth work <laughs> with, with loved ones or old friends and stuff like that. So there's going to be a little bit of that as well during these three years. Now, going back to the person who has been thinking about you, who's got a thing for you, who, you know, has had a, an energetic shift. There's been a shift that's going on here. Um, obviously, this is a general reading and there's so many individuals that will be triggered individually and their triggers will lead them in different ways of dealing with this. Some I feel will reach out, some will reach out and communicate and they will speak to you, they will communicate um, and it will be like an advancement of communication for you guys. Others of you will get, the, the person will get triggered and then they will go and search or connect with people that boost their ego, that they feel they are as I, as I said, how they may have felt with you, maybe like above or they it make these people make them feel good, valid. Um, they kind of soothe the triggers, the egoic triggers that they're experiencing. And others, I feel, yes, they're going to be triggered, but it's going to, they're not, they might not necessarily reach out, but it's going to push them um, to do work on their own, to really kind of like focus on their goals, um, to achieve certain goals and to really kind of get to work upon themselves and level up. It's triggering them, but they're going to utilise that as a way to level up themselves. So, yeah, there's these are kind of like the a few of the, the ways that I feel this person is going to handle how they feel. Um, and I feel like they have been triggered maybe because you have been connected to, or you have re you have connected to new people. Um, I'm still picking up this amazing person who is going to help you to level up. It's somebody who is, um, it, this person is going to activate you and rise you up. Um, in a really beautiful way but they may sense that or you may be around different people or new people that are that are like they feel good in themselves they f they're successful and I don't just mean like in the material world they're successful like in themselves in their being in the way that they love themselves, they feel about themselves, they're secure, they're confident, they are um, successful within themselves, you know, because they're solid. And I think maybe even this, I feel because if you've been connecting more with people like this, or if you, if this hasn't happened for you yet, and it's something that will, um, it's like they're rubbing off on you, or they're activating you. And this person is picking up on that but it's triggering them um but anyway i'm gonna get into your cards now for the week so we'll see what's coming up for scorpio for the week of january the 15th to the 21st
yeah sorry guys if this video is kind of like disrupted you a bit if you got in the zone like i've just come in here because it's quieter i won't get interrupted in here okay let's see what's coming up we've got the emperor we've got the eight of cups in reverse the knight of swords the Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody feels that they're not getting a reaction from you. Okay, someone is upset because they feel they are not getting your attention or getting a reaction. They feel that you're giving to someone else with that Six of Pentacles. They feel that your attention and your energy is elsewhere they feel a disconnect here or like that you have they feel some sort of shift emotionally they are they are going to return someone's going to return here you've got someone emperor keeps popping up as well this week it could be a fire sign here with the king of wands they uh, i feel like this person might have a strong ego again with that emperor energy they're powerful so they have built up a solid identity and ego um, within themselves. It doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to last because it might be that they need to have some sort of shift and change in their life and that might need to crumble a little bit so they can start again. But this person has built up a solid ego. That's not, And that's not to say that they're like some sort of narcissistic, egoic knob. It's like... I mean, some might be, but it's like here, they've created a power in themselves. They've created skills. They've created um, something for themselves that they are powerful at. They have conquered some sort of game in the world that they are powerful at. It might be now that they need to go into a new game because I feel like they are feeling a little bit rocked, but they've still got this level here they've still got this identity and this ego going on but they are feeling a disconnection from you they feel that you're not bothered <laughs> they feel that you're not bothered by them whether it's like positive or negative energy it doesn't matter because it's just that they like ha capturing your attention and they haven't got it they're feeling that they haven't got it and they're feeling that there's no energy whether it's good or bad going to them, they're not in control. We've got the fool in reverse. They're, they lack confidence. They're lacking confidence, this person here, and trust. N uh, the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck, there's a shift going on with them. They're tuning into their intuition. And as I was saying, like I feel like this person could be breaking down their ego. With that High Priestess card, it kind of makes sense for me. And with this Ace of Wands, because I feel like they might need to be going more into their like feminine sort of spiritual energy to gain some sort of new inspiration of life or an area of life, something new. They like need to dip into this energy but they're so there's whether they're a man or a woman they're, they're very masculine in their energy they like to be in control they like to be in charge they like to be successful they like to be um yeah they're, they're in their masculine energy and what's coming in for them is going to shift them they're not going to be very comfortable some may some may be comfortable and they'll dive straight in they will dive in and they will excel and they will move forward real quick um others may feel a little bit insecure but they may dip into more of their feminine emotional energy but that again i feel like yes they will communicate with you but then they might they need to be careful of not slipping into some sort of like victim mode as well there with that they need to dip into their like spiritual feminine energy first but anyway what are they wanting okay so they see you 
they see you as being um, a nine of pentacles. They are wanting to be the nine of pentacles, right? But they're not feeling a nine of pentacles. They see you as being a nine of pentacles. And they feel like they've missed an opportunity and a chance here. They feel that they are lacking. They feel like they're less than now. And they feel like they've missed out. It's triggering their ego and their confidence big time. Yeah, here we go with the Five of Cups. They re If they dip into their emotional energy before their spiritual energy, they're going to play... They're going to be in this victim mode. They might not even necessarily come out and directly say that but you know like you'll see things if they're a poster if they're like a poster on social media you'll see like these little quotes and where they just want to express how they feel and they feel like a victim but this will probably be played out with other people in their life to be honest um other people i feel in their life will get the brunt of it because they need to sort out certain things in their life first um What are they going to do in regards to you? What's going to be their actions in regards to you? Okay, so we see the Empress here. We see the Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. They're putting you on a pedestal. They're putting you on a pedestal. King of Pentacles in reverse. Um... I'm, I'm going to be honest, some of these, some of these are actually, some who are really like, there's such a mixed bag here. There's low vibe people, there's high vibe people. High vibe people really do put you on a pedestal, um, but they're being triggered like egoically in regards to themselves. And they may be looking at their flaws um, about certain things that they've done wrong um and how they've missed out on this connection they're going to be looking at themselves and learning but there is some who are very low vibrational who are going to be bitter towards you who may be kind of trying to wish you ill wishes or just shit like that and it's not gonna it's not gonna affect you it's gonna come back to them it'll always go back to them They'll end up learning hard lessons. You're protected. It's going to bounce off you and back to them because you're of a higher vibration, way higher. They're going to have some hard lessons. Them ones, though, they will need to be careful of substances um, as well. Um, I think these, they, the here, the high vibe ones, the ones I'm, wanna, I'm wanting to tune into, these are going to kind of go with the flow here. I feel like they're going to either get to work on themselves. Um, they're going to be downloading. And I feel like the ones who go into their spiritual energy before they go into an emotional energy, because they're shifting, they're changing. So their feminine energy is going to be getting an upgrade here. Um, they're going to be downloading inspiration and they're going to be starting to get more like artistic and creative or like they're gonna but it's to do with communication so they might start writing or something they might they're gonna start communicating but they're gonna do it in a, a beautiful emotional way and express themselves and do some sort of like emotional alchemy putting their emotions or the feelings that are inside of them into something physical externally you know that that is beautiful which is going to build their confidence, which is going to help them with their confidence and to see themselves in a beautiful way, not the egoic way that they did before, not that kind of ego sort of way, a deeper way, a beautiful way, an emotionally connected way. This is all about you. This reading has just turned into your person, hasn't it? It's just like about this person. Um, Let's see what else is going on for you. Because I want to give you something for you. What's going on for you this week? Okay, so meditation. Be meditating. Dreaming. Rest, basically. You're closing up a cycle here with the world. Um, we've got here the Six of Cups. So somebody could be 
coming towards you, supporting you, helping you. It's a soul connection here. We've got the Hierophant. I feel this is like an activation as well for you. It's a connection, a soul connection, a, um, a new contract, a new activation here, a new commitment, something that is spiritual that you will learn from as well. There'll be some new discipline that comes in for you. You might be feeling a little bit tired with work. Um, you might be busy with work this week. That might make you feel tired as well with that four of swords. So make sure you get your rest. Feel like if that's the case, you could be dreaming a lot as well. Or you might want to sleep a bit more. Um, work might be on your mind though. You might get busy with work, but I just feel like the sleep and the rest that you do get, or when you can rest, rest. But make sure it's like good quality as well. Um, and definitely meditate because you too are shifting. Some material gain is coming your way this week. And you are going to be working with people you work well with to build something in your material world. Getting options coming in, things that are going to bring you emotional joy connection again i'm telling you there's someone coming in that you there's someone coming in that you haven't met before right and they're coming in to activate you and they're going to transform you with that death they're going to transform you this is not this person that's pining for you this is different this is like a brand new person you're going to be going on a, a new journey balancing out your energy and learning and diving in and doing shadow work and light work within new areas here of yourself but also you could also be going on a little trip soon <laughs> king of cups ten of swords page of swords Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just completing, you're completing a cycle that is exhausted, that is done, that is over. And you've been offered something new here. And it's just a process that's going on right now. You're just going through this process. Um, this is kind of what I've got for you here. I hope that is helpful for you. You have to let me know. And again, apologies for being interrupted. Um... But yeah, I hope that was um, a useful reading for you guys. If you do want a personal reading, I've got um, a sale on at the minute on my personal readings. Um, in the description box below, there is uh, a link which will take you over to the listing on my shop, which will give you um, details, a lot of detailed information in regards to uh, personal readings, what's involved. Um, I do recorded live video call readings um, or if that's something that you don't want I can do a pre-recorded video for you if you do if you would rather that um, it's completely up to you but yeah if you're interested the information is in the description box um, other than that thanks for watching guys anyone who is new to my channel welcome I hope you enjoyed this reading and yeah, I will see you next week. Take care.